It's been a good food day already. So started off with an unbelievable smoothie bowl from a place, I'll put the name on the screen, in Mobile. And then a rice bowl from Chief Mao, which is where we're staying. So this is actually the same day as the sardine and turtle video. So if you've not seen that, it's the video before this one. Go and check it out. Absolutely unbelievable scenery. Got to swim like face to face with the turtle with no one else around and then in a pool of sardines, like over 10,000 sardines, uh, eight o'clock this morning. So now we're on our way. We're about to leave on the bikes to Osmania Peak. Um, it's about an hour and a half drive and then about a 45 minute hike. So it's one o'clock now. We're gonna head over and hopefully be on the summit for around sunset. So let's go. So we're about 10 minutes into the drive now and the scenery is unbelievable. We've, uh, this is probably the best drive I've ever done so far already. Isn't it? Beautiful, like the roads paved and yeah, got, just got the backdrop of the mountains the whole way. Uh, yeah, let's continue. Let's go. We are in a pickle. So this is, I don't know how bad it looks, but you literally can't even drive up it. So we're walking the bikes up with the engine on. Nearly cut my foot up, did I? Yeah, no blood. But hopefully it gets better in a minute and then we're gonna see. Otherwise we'll have to sack it and go a different way. I am dripping, we had to push the bikes over 100 meters there. <laughs> Look, we're in the middle of, Jesus. Middle of nowhere, poor thing. Right boys and girls, I'm dripping. We can't get out that way, it is a joke. So we were warned to not take the shorter route to go the longer one. And now we know why, but we thought we were hard as nails and we could do it. <laughs> so uh, we're sacking it off. We're heading back through this paradise down that beautiful road again. We're gonna go the long way. Good job we got time in the day still, it's 2 p.m. So yeah, let's get a shift on. All right, round two, let's go. We're around the other side, trying to attack the mountains from the other angle now. See if we can get up. Kids in Cebu are so cute. They're always happy to see you. Uh, and they know two sentences. One of them is hello, and the second one is give me money. <laughs> so we've made it, and it's taken a lot out of us, but as a reward, we're getting a cookie review. Hey, sir. So taste it, let, let them know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've not done anything difficult since the marathon and that was a month ago now. So I feel like a mere mortal doing this hike. I'm now the highest man on Cebu Island. I think I've got a couple of inches on you. Now I'm the second <laughs> highest man in Cebu Island. Yeah. <laughs> So this is 1042, this one. Or let the sun break. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and this one is 1056, so we've been conned. But no one climbs up that one, so I was the highest in Cebu for two seconds. So if you want to do it, lessons learned, you don't go the short route, you go all the way along the coast and then cut in the mountain uh, to get nice roads the whole way, otherwise it's pretty much impossible. At lesson two, it's actually not much of a hike, so we only hiked about 15 minutes. The drive was, well, the way we did it, the drive was two hours, but it can be like an hour and a half. We can see Mobile from here, it is uh, that bit that just sticks out there. Thank you for watching, please follow and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>